reasons. It turns out that when you look at the reasons why customers contact companies for help, or to complain about something, about 80%, almost exactly for every company, 80% of the reasons are frustrated reasons. Only about 20% are positive. The positive ones would be things like, hey, I want to buy more from you guys, or can you tell me about this new feature, or you know, I'm, I, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to give you a suggestion for a new feature. Th those are good reasons, but most of the reasons are, this isn't working, or I can't find my password again or you don't get back to me. You told me you get back to me and you haven't gotten back to me and what's, 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 what's with this? Or where's my stuff? Where's my product that I ordered? Where's my refund that, that you told me I was gonna get? And so it's always important to do a good job with those frustrated contacts. But the, the key thing for frictionless companies is why did we really have to have those in the first place? Can't we just get rid of the underlying causes, the underlying reasons? And then customers don't have to interrupt their life to talk to us.